So then we have made it to the final week of the EFL Championship season and as you can see there is still so much to play for. Today we're going to take a deep dive into the automatic playoff and relegation battles. It's a big one. Before we get into the video guys as always feel free to share your predictions down below. If you support a team that has got something to play for get down in the comments let me know your predictions and your thoughts coming into it. Are you feeling nervous? Make sure to drop a like as well guys we'll go for a big one. 2,000 likes on this one. It's a big ask, but if everyone hits that thumbs up button, which it's free to do, we can hit 2,000. Make sure to subscribe as well, which is completely free to do. Like, subscribe, comment your thoughts, and let's get into today's video. So then, it is Monday in the final week of the championship season, and as you look next to me here, you can see there is still so much to play for. Another thing you'll notice is that a couple teams still have a game in hand. One of them being tonight, as Preston take on Leicester City, which will make mention in a minute and then of course Ipswich Town go away to Coventry City on Tuesday a game I will be going to so make sure to look out for the match vlog on Tuesday night about 11 p.m. This might be one of my favorite seasons watching the championship over the last five six years it's been an incredible season and even though my team haven't maybe accomplished what I thought they would do you can't take away from how much drama there has been at both ends of the table the fascinating thing is we're into the final week and there's only two teams that are confirmed to stay where they are in the table that being Southampton are guaranteed to finish fourth Rotherham United are guaranteed to finish 24th but everyone else in the table can still move up or down in this final week it's incredible of course we're going to focus on the top seven where there's a fight for the top two and top six and down in the bottom six as well but even between seventh and 19th all of the teams in that big portion of the table can all swap around places it's going to be like musical chairs on the final day it's going to be incredible with all of that said let's start dissecting the things that really matter going into this final week and the first thing is the title. Now, of course, getting automatic promotion is the most important thing, but the title is a lovely added bonus. And of course, as you can see, it's in Leicester City's hands. Leicester City will win the title with two more points or if Ipswich fail to win their final remaining games. That's due to the fact that Leicester City are currently four points clear of Ipswich. They both have two games left. Leicester have a goal difference 15 better than Ipswich. So if we're being rational, Leicester City just need two more points and it will be done. I think they'll get it done tonight though with three points against Preston. Even if Leicester City lose to Preston, it's still in their hands to wrap up the title on the final day. But if they fail to win both of their games and obviously lose one of them in the process, then there is that opportunity Ipswich Town might still win the championship let's move on to the top two then and this is incredible it's in Ipswich Town's hands as you can see it's a fight here between Leeds United and Ipswich Town for that final automatic promotion place along with Leicester for Ipswich to secure the top two they just need four more points this season and that's as a minimum they could find that they get promoted with even less to put it literal they need more points in two games than Leeds get in one game so although it's very unlikely we could have a situation here where Ipswich lose and draw, but they still get promoted because Leeds United might lose to Southampton. If we're being realistic, with Southampton not having much to play for, and we saw that against Stoke City last week, I do think there's a high probability that Leeds win at home on the final day. So I do think Ipswich Town need to make sure they secure four points. If they come to Coventry on Tuesday and get the win, then they only need to draw with Huddersfield on the final day. If they come to Coventry and get a draw, then they need to beat Huddersfield on the final day. But if they come to Coventry and lose on Tuesday, then the automatics is out of their hands and they'll rely on a Leeds United slip-up. Do I see Ipswich losing to Coventry? Well, yes, of course it's possible, but even as a Coventry fan who obviously loves to win games of football, I just don't know if Coventry win. I can maybe see a draw. I think because Coventry ultimately don't have anything to play for anymore, Ipswich Town will fancy their chances of rocking up and at least getting away with a draw. But honestly, Coventry City's players look tired. We've not really got much to play for. Ipswich Town will probably be more fired up for this. So... Leeds United are asking for a big favour from Coventry, who've not got a lot to play for. Let's move on to the Championship playoff race next, and fair play to Hull City. There's still a bit of wiggle room here. They've put the pressure on Norwich City and West Bromwich Albion. Now, Norwich and West Brom obviously both have it in their hands. They will both secure the top six with a win or a draw. Now, West Brom will move up to 73 points with a draw, of course. That would require Hull City to win by 11. So, yes, while it's mathematically possible possible Hull City could still catch them, it's not realistic. 
it's up to Hull City to put the pressure on ultimately because if they draw or lose, then there won't be any change anyway. Hull City need to win at Plymouth, who we're going to come on to in a minute. That's a massive game. And they need West Brom to lose or Norwich to lose heavily. A seven goal difference swing is not impossible, still very unlikely, but with both Hull City and Norwich playing teams that have got a lot to play for, it could be a really interesting day where we could see some freakish results. Do I see Hull overtaking Norwich? Probably not. I think their best bet is hoping that Preston beat West Brom. But let's see. After the top seven, like I said, we can go from eighth down to 18th, where all of those teams could swap over a bit on the final day. It's incredible. But ultimately, those teams know that they're going to be in the championship next year. They've not got anything to play for. So let's move all the way down to the relegation battle, where teams are fighting for their lives. Of course, at the bottom, as we keep saying, Rotherham United are done. Huddersfield Town are 99.999% likely to be joining Rotherham in League One. But they still have a mathematical chance, so we'll just quickly run through this. Huddersfield need a 15 goal difference swing on the final day. We're talking Huddersfield Town going away to Ipswich, who've obviously got a lot to play for, and beating them 7-8-9-0, whilst at the same time Birmingham lose and Plymouth lose 7-8-9-0 to Hull City. It's just not practical. Huddersfield Town, as much as it pains me to say this, you are going to be a League One team next season, but let's see if you can come back at the first attempt. And to be honest, you could still have a big say in that top two race, although Huddersfield Town fans are not overly keen on Leeds. So I wonder how they'd feel about actually beating it switch on the final day to hand promotion to Leeds United. That's a question to the Huddersfield fans. Share your thoughts on that. When you go above Huddersfield Town, this is where it gets really interesting. Birmingham City sit in 22nd and it's all down to them to create as much chaos as possible for the three teams above them that are not safe yet. Now first things first, when we spoke about the relegation battle the other day, we distinguished that a draw is just not likely to be enough. Blues can only escape with a draw if Plymouth lose by five goals to Hull City. Now while we've said Hull City might have to go for a big win to try and catch up the goal difference with Norwich City if it's possible, it's just not very realistic to expect to five goal win. Yes, Hull City have been a good away team, but Plymouth have been a better home team than they've been an away team. So both of them will be in their strong suit. So with all of that said, the only realistic chance we've got of teams swapping places in 22nd and upwards on the final day is with a Birmingham win. If Birmingham win, then Plymouth need to win. If they both win, then Wednesday need to draw. If Birmingham and Plymouth win and Wednesday draw or win, then Blackburn need a draw at Leicester. This is the beautiful chaos of a relegation battle when there's so many teams involved. It might be like dominoes. If Birmingham City are the first team to score on that final day, it will open up a massive can of worms that would then plunge Plymouth into the bottom three. As we then said, if Plymouth go and score against Hull City, they'd both be on course to get a win. And it only takes Sheffield Wednesday or Blackburn to go behind for them to fall in. Working our way from the top downwards, Blackburn and Sheffield Wednesday, it's in their hands. The same with Plymouth. Blackburn and Sheffield Wednesday only need to get a draw. While I think that's very realistic for Sheffield Wednesday, who've been very good lately, and go away to Sunderland, who've not got much to play for, for Blackburn, it's a different matter because they're going away to Leicester. We could find that Leicester have not got anything to play for, but they've still got that unbelievable amount of quality. And of course, they'll all be playing in high spirits and positivity with the promotion wrapped up. Myself and Sophie will be doing our championship predictions for the final day on Wednesday so certainly look out for that but it's really tricky here picking out the bones when they've all got a lot to play for I can see two three maybe all four getting the results they need but of course if they all get the result that they're going for then Birmingham stay where they are because that's the status quo. They are currently the team starting the day in the bottom three. With that said though, what I said in the video the other day is Birmingham only need one out of three results to go for them. Like I said, it's not like we're asking Birmingham to hope three other results all go their way. As long as Plymouth don't win or Wednesday or Blackburn lose, just one of those three things coupled with a Birmingham win and Birmingham are out. And as we've said, Birmingham City at home on the final day with a packed out St Andrews. I could just see it. I don't want the Birmingham City fans to get carried away here because I know how nervous you will be right now. But like I said, when the Coventry fans came to St Andrews the other day, we weren't expecting what we saw go down. And Birmingham City do have a chance. They have got the quality to do it. With Norwich City going there, 
Norwich are pretty much all but there. As long as they don't go and lose their 4-0, they should still be in the top six. If they do lose 4 or 5-0, then Hull City will be thinking, right, we can get them. Birmingham City, of course, know that they don't need to win 4 or 5-0. They only need to win by one goal to start catching up with these teams. Obviously, they could do with a second goal if they're already winning to make the win feel more secure. Oh, do you know what? I just, I don't know what's going to happen. I've seen quite a lot of negative Birmingham fans recently, and I completely understand. There is still Birmingham fans I've seen sharing their thoughts that are like, we can do this, you know, we can do this. And they have got that experience of doing it, but you can't always rely on that. And as we said, the problem here for Birmingham is it isn't in their hands. I'm seeing quite a lot of nervous Plymouth fans. I've seen quite a lot of Plymouth fans that are like, oh my God, we might get caught in the wrong place at the wrong time, which would be so unfortunate, we must say, for Plymouth, by the way, because they've been above the bottom three for almost all season. To fall in in the final day would just be heartbreaking for them. But it's what can happen. It's how football works sometimes. For Sheffield Wednesday, we've said it would be unbelievably cruel to see them go down after what they've done so far. I think they're nearly there, if we're being honest. I've backed them all year, 95% of the way now. I, like I said, they need to go and draw at Sunderland, which I don't think is too hard for them. But even if they lose, they might stay up anyway. Then as for Blackburn, I, I just have a feeling they might have to rely on other results, which I think they could get away with. I don't know. I mean, I could see them getting a draw at Leicester. I don't know if they're going to win. They don't need to win. They only need to draw. It's if they lose, though, they're going to be looking at other results. Blackburn, Sheffield Wednesday and Plymouth fans will be hoping for an early Norwich goal to calm the nerves. But as I say, as a neutral here, wanting chaos, I'd love to see an early Birmingham goal. That said, I'm not a supporter of any of these teams and I have complete sympathy with you. And all of these teams offer something quite unique to the Championship. Plymouth have been a really good addition. Birmingham City are kind of like the staple of the Championship now, obviously having been there the longest out of any Championship team. And they are a big club. Sheffield Wednesday, huge club. Blackburn Rovers, of course, a former Premier League winner. But the sad reality is one of those four will be joining Huddersfield and Rotherham. And Huddersfield, like I say, while it's not mathematically impossible... It probably is. The final thing to do is show you the fixtures for the final week. As you can see, a game on Monday for Leicester, a game on Tuesday for Ipswich, and then the final day, there's so much to play for. Let me just put next to these teams what they need to do in these games. So first things first then, when we spoke about Leicester City winning the title, they only need two more points. That's why I've put win slash draw against Preston and Blackburn. Then as for Ipswich, they need four points. So I've put win slash draw next to them against Coventry and against Huddersfield. Then as you can see, if you look at the final day games, Birmingham v Norwich is a really interesting one. Norwich need a draw to mathematically secure their playoff place. Birmingham need a win. A draw is just not really any good for them. West Brom need at least a draw against Preston, but of course they can go out for the win. When I say draw, guys, I'm not saying these teams can't win. I'm saying that's the minimum that they need. As for Sheffield Wednesday, they just need to make sure they get at least a draw at Sunderland. Then the Plymouth Hull City game is one of my favourites on the final day because they both need to win. It's possible Plymouth Argyle can stay up with a loss or a draw, of course, as we've mentioned. It would require Birmingham to win, but they need to win to just make sure they keep it in their hands. And as for Hull City, nothing less than a win will get them into the top six. It needs to be a win. Leicester Blackburn is an interesting one. Could it just be a, a draw that's played out there? Leeds United need to beat Southampton. Ipswich Town need to make sure they win and draw against Huddersfield and Coventry. And then Huddersfield need to win at Ipswich, but it needs to be a massive win. It's just not very realistic. Guys, share your thoughts. That's going to wrap it up for today. We've got so much content to come on the EFL and in the Premier League over the next coming days. Make sure to get involved with your comments down below. Drop a like. It's free to do that. We're going for 2,000. Hit that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe as well. Oh, geez. I mean, I'm not even supporting a team that have got something to play for, but I feel nervous for them. It's going to be a crazy final week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace out.